Check out this beautiful aesthetic YouTube background. Just kidding, my house is a mess and it's because we are getting ready to leave for Ireland in a couple days. And I wanted to talk about uh, why we made the decision to continue to go on this trip. Though I have surgery coming up, though it's gonna be slightly complicated by the fact that I'm on crutches. So we actually began planning this trip a year and a half ago with uh, two of our very, very best friends. I've never traveled internationally aside from Canada. I love Canada, but a consideration in when I chose my surgery date is would I be walking by the time that March came around? So I had my surgery, my amputation in October. I was assured that, you know, barring unforeseen circumstances, definitely I would definitely be walking at least a few hours a day by March and if you follow my channel you know what happened next I eventually found out that I had a bursa which has then turned into more issues resulting from a fall back in December I'm gonna have to have more surgery my initial thought honestly was to cancel this trip for a couple reasons the biggest one is because I did not want to go on a trip like this not the way I wanted to go on the trip I wanted to be able to go on the trip fairly independent like walking on my own, not relying on crutches, not relying on maybe renting a wheelchair there if we wanna go on like, you know, long walks or anything like that. Like I can't really effectively do that. It was really like a punch in the ego, if that makes sense. Because I can do a lot of hanging out here at home if I'm having a hard day. And I was reminded of a book I read years and years ago. I can't remember the name of the book, but it was written by Donald Miller, who's one of my favorite authors. I'll link the book down below. I'm sure I'll remember it when I'm done filming. He talks about this idea of living a life that we would want to read a book about. Like we'd want to read our own stories. And if I think about that idea, which I think about often, and I don't actually think that there is a right or a wrong answer in most situations because our stories are our stories. But if I was reading a story about my life, would I rather read about a character who did not do something adventurous out of fear or embraced a cool adventure with people who love her and put her ego aside. I'd much rather read the second story that's filled with a lot more opportunity. Like I could sit at home and be safe or I could go do something different, you know? Even though it's not under the circumstances I want, it's still a really cool thing to be able to go and I think it's gonna be awesome. And even though I have some fear about certain aspects of it, about being on crutches and the eye walk in a foreign country for two weeks, it's gonna be okay and we'll figure it out. And I know that I can rely on people and I'm trying to work on asking for help. I'm really not good at that, and I'm getting tired of working on it, if I'm totally honest, because again, it's been like five months of needing help and needing to ask people for help, and perhaps part of this journey really is me learning that, learning to actually ask for help and accept it and squash the part of me that wants to do everything on my own all the time to my own detriment. So that's why I decided to go on this trip. I would rather read a story about a character who decided to do it instead of not. Oh, I didn't get you in the frame, did I? So how long have you wanted to go to Ireland for? 22 years. Hey everybody, it's me, Brian, back on. <laughs> Are you accommodating for my lack of ability? <laughs> yep. Truly, truly like beautiful. So the wind is crazy, but we are at New Grange in I think County Meath in Ireland, and oh my god, it is like nothing else here. Just green and gorgeous and sheath everywhere, which I, might not sound like your idea of heaven, but it's definitely mine. We're waiting for entrance into a Neolithic passage chamber tomb, which is pretty cool. Brian's chasing some sheep. We just got done with a couple days in Dublin and uh, Brian is definitely best friends with those sheep now. And we're heading up to Burtonport, which is a tiny little fishing village in the north of Ireland. Gonna hang out there for a few days. 
days and just take it really low key, head down uh, to Southern Ireland after that, and eventually maybe head back to the US. I don't know, I'm pretty happy here. Brian is busy conquering castles. Champ your tea edition. I'm waiting for my tea to brew here in Donegal County in Ireland, and I want to show you guys what I woke up to. It uh, is working actually pretty great for getting around as long as it doesn't fall on your bursa and hurt you like it did yesterday. That was my fault. It wasn't. It really was. It's, it's unstable. I tilted it up against something and it fell over onto her leg. I was in the way. It was frankly my fault. So We met because, well we met at like at homeschool school, long story. But. We got to be better friends because she called me to borrow my crutches I because did. I was the girl with all the crutches. You did have the crutches. Crutches will make you friends. Ooh, the light is I know. splotchy to say the least. I know, I was like, <laughs> you're like an angel when I make the tea. I came from heaven. Ah! <laughs> so I'm like sinking into darkness. So this is the Irish way to survive on 15 cents, is it? Cents or? I haven't figured out the money yet. Yeah. Very similar. Less salty. A lot less salty also. Are Americans just obsessed with salt? Yes. Something I didn't really think ahead for is the fact that overseas, or traveling in general, there are gonna be different bathrooms, right? I think I haven't fully, like, come to terms with the fact that I'm disabled or like different or permanently missing a leg. I don't think that's actually sunk in yet. And so I need to learn to think ahead a little more fully. In the first place we stayed, there was a bathtub and like a takedown. Words are escaping me. A spout you can <clears throat> take down, you can hold. So I was able to like easily shower. I could sit in the bathtub, take care of, no problem. But this place we're staying, um, they're Airbnb, so it's been awesome to stay in like different different people's places. But this Airbnb um, is like a giant, huge open bathroom, and it gets super steamy, super foggy, super slippery because it's all tile, um, and the bathroom is just a big standing shower in the corner that's again all tile and so this morning I took a shower and had to like finagle sitting and or kneeling on the floor which was super uncomfortable and had to get from like one side all the way to the other and please note that this bathroom is bigger than the size of a dorm room like it's huge I uh, tried to get to the other side of the room while the floor is super slippery wet which entailed either hopping which I wasn't gonna do because I'd like break my other leg <laughs> or crawling like a dog. I got really upset because I don't like feeling um, incapable or different or anything like that and I realized that there are probably like modification tools I could bring with me that would make this easier. Honestly, I don't want to. I don't want to bring anything with me that would change a bathroom or make it simpler. I just want it to be easy. That's like the honest truth. I just want it to be simple. I don't want to have to bring a handle that could like suction onto the wall that I could hold on to that would make it easier. I just want it to be easy. I don't want things to be different or to be challenging or difficult, but that's not how life is right now or is ever gonna be. I'm always gonna have to think ahead. I'm always gonna have to like plan bathrooms very specifically if we're traveling, make sure that there are like modifications there or that I'm bringing something and that, wow, makes me really sad to think about. Like it's okay, it's fine, but also makes my heart like plummet to the ground. But another happy news, today is St. Patrick's Day in Ireland, which is freaking fantastic. Brian is super Irish, my best friend is super Irish, and so we are gonna go celebrate in Ireland. And I'm gonna do my very best to just forget about all this.
100% chance I'm definitely gonna blow away. This will be my last message to you. Have you ever been that wind blown in your entire life? No. Oh my god. We were just on the cliffs of Sleeve League and uh, Which are taller than the cliffs of Cliffs of Moor. Apparently they're less touristy. There's like 10 people here. But holy cow, I've never been anywhere so pretty in my life. But our car is literally shaking right now because it is so windy. I had to brace against the uh, car on my crutches just to stay upright. Brian caught me a couple times. It did. Because he's amazing. Uh, but our friends are climbing rocks right now and we are staying safe in the car because no, not today, death. So I just went for a bit of a morning walk and it's just, it feels like a different world out here. It's so windy and so cold and just lovely. And I realized that it, um, I realized that I'm having surgery in a few days and it feels like it's a different world. I feel like I can kind of like separate myself out into different chunks and pretend like nothing is happening, like nothing is wrong, like nothing is going on. And I'm not sure if that's a positive thing or a negative thing, if that's a skill or a negative coping thing, or it's probably something that could be used for good or for harm. Um, because I'm having surgery in a, a few days and I don't feel that at all and I'm not thinking about that and it's probably a good thing. So I'm just gonna keep soaking up the time I have here and take care of things that we need to take care of when we get back to the States. Eat my crackers? Yes. They're like cookie crackers. And I wish they sold them in the US. It's kind of like a you know, cracker texture. Start with a slap for a duo. Really, with a glove. What do the five fingers say to the hand? <gasps> I accept. Why are you mad? This is way harder. Is this gonna turn? Gentle. Is this gonna turn to a real garden fight? I was a gentile. Are you breaking? <laughs> Are you breaking into places you shouldn't be? We live in Colorado where it's sunny all the time. In Ireland it apparently rains constantly and I would live here in a heartbeat. One thing that I've noticed here that they have in bathrooms, I know some people say that things in Europe aren't super handicap accessible, but in handicap accessible bathrooms, see this right here? This? This is like an emergency um, thing if you, you know, fall over or have any issues. We do not have those in America, except in hospitals. So for handicap accessible bathrooms, 10 points guys, that's awesome. I'll fall down when you're mine. I get up and you're a stranger Out of sight, out of mind And no wanting to surrender Find me a pirate on my pirate ship! Yes! My first mate? Arg. We put up a good fight Captain Ahab, can I have your autograph? Like, like I'm off to a spa Catching fire before it ever we just landed in our final Airbnb spot in Kenmar, Kenmare, and holy cow, is there anywhere in Ireland that isn't gorgeous? We're right off the bay, right there. So much peace here, it is so perfect and just, wow. And the only DVD they have is Magic Mike. Oh, they do have, uh, they do have Fox and the Hound. And Magic Mike. <laughs> what? I guess we know where their priorities are. Here at the edge of the Kenmar River, it's technically a bay. The damn English apparently messed that up. But uh, I'm hoping to see a seal or an otter. I think I slept in too late for that. But regardless, this is, I feel like I should stop talking because it, it's beautiful and peaceful and quiet and perfect. Also, I feel like I probably used all those words too much in this video and it's probably gonna be boring for you guys, but I'm sorry about that because it's beautiful and peaceful and perfect and quiet. I've been caught. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
friends trying to skip rocks into a uh, choppy water. It's not going so well. I am making fun of you in my videos because you're cute. Hi. <laughs> We got to go exploring in the woods and found a waterfall and where it meets the ocean. <laughs> Woo. Keep your balance. No death. I am the queen. I expected to come on this trip and have a good time, maybe have some challenges, learn some things about traveling, the end. Um, I learned a lot of things about myself which I really didn't expect at all to learn. I think being separated from your culture, because American culture is definitely different than Irish culture, is really beneficial. Uh, I think you get a different perspective or you're allowed the opportunity for a different perspective. And there have been other things I just noticed, like yesterday morning, I walked out to the water for the first time early in the morning and I was just quiet. That may not seem like a big deal. People can be quiet. I really struggle with it. I always have an audiobook on or music on or a TV show on the background or something like that. Or I'm always doing something or working on something. There's always activity or noise because to just be quiet with myself brings so much panic and anxiety and it's not like I can't um, be alone I love being alone it's the silence like I can't ever rest and I was able to do that here which is odd to me and also such a gift to sound weird I felt like the ocean and and the shore yesterday morning was kind of inviting me into silence with it to just be and could just be for a second and I I can't do that usually um, it's something I think that is very necessary for humans I've just not been able to participate in it for a very long time because of everything that goes on in my head it was good to know that I still could do that given the right time and place and circumstances and it's something that I want to continue to work on and I want to make space for quiet and for rest when I get home and I have no idea how to do that but I'll work on it. have one final day here uh, in Kenmar, and then we have one day in Dublin, and then we're headed home. These are apparently ancient woods, and I'm gonna go ahead and say that they are enchanted and mysterious, and I feel like they hold a million stories, and it's cool to be a part of. I'm not technically sure if these maneuvers are meant for the eye walk, but sometimes I like to live dangerously, and by dangerously, I mean taking short walks in semi-controlled environments. Giant puddle. Success. Something you may not know about us is that we're aquarium enthusiasts. So we're at the biggest aquarium in all of Ireland today. Catbirds. They're all in their nests, that's what they're doing. So we found a dolphin tour, and we are going to have to navigate me over the side of a boat on the iWalk, but there's lots of strong men around, so worst case scenario, they're gonna pick me up and carry me over, which would just be, you know, terrible. Just kidding, it'll be great. All right, well my bag is packed. Now I just have to get to clothes. Handy little traveler's tip for next time you travel or I travel, leave room for the things you're gonna buy. Like I bought a big fluffy sweatshirt and a couple things for my mom. Uh, and you know, we're just gonna see if it's gonna zipper closed or, or not. I'm sure we'll get it. If not, I'll get Brian to, to work his magic. He's like a god at getting things to pack. Uh, but I will be on my way to the airport, uh, like an eight or nine hour flight, and then another like four hour flight, and then we'll be home. 
back to reality. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes. <laughs> Ready to go see our puppies and kitties? I am. <laughs> you look like you're being held hostage. I'm just trying to you're enjoy ready, my breakfast. You ready to go see your puppies and kitties? I am. <laughs> Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. But don't you sweat your pretty skin. Thanks, Boston, for having rocking chairs. Home. No, I'm picking my nose in there. When the moon runs down the summer sky